Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here that's spelt with a zero, and today I'll be showing you how to get animated boot logos on iOS 5.0.1 uh, and below. Um, so I know I'm sure there's plenty of videos like this out there on YouTube already. Uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and make my own because there's nothing really hot to talk about. Um, I'm sorry I missed yesterday's video. It was, I know it was a Friday video, um, but I just I had to go to physical therapy for back injury and whatnot. Uh, so really, no time for a video. Uh, but I'll make that up today on Saturday. Uh, so as you just saw there, I had a little custom boot logo that I actually made. It was a logo of the 12th Prestige emblem for Black Ops. Uh, for all my little Call of Duty people out there. So I'll show you how to do something like that, and um, that's just something I made that's pretty mediocre. You can see it switched that little pinwheel after the animation finished, because I didn't really have an animation. Um, so, let's get into how to do this. Of course, you need to be jailbroken, uh, and let's go to Cydia. This will show you how to do it on iOS 5.0.1 and 4.2 point whatever. Um, so first, you want to go ahead and search for animate. I spelled that right, like this. It is from the Chronic Dev team. I believe this came uh, standard, or you could um, download it when the original Green Poison was launched. And it's originally for iOS 4.2.1. Uh, you can see it only works with iOS 4.2.1, but we'll fix that. Um, and I'll teach you how to make your own boot logos later. Justin, get out the video. <laughs> um, so, basically, after you have that installed, we want to go back to the search. We can scroll down here, and we have a fix from actually I Hate Snow, a very popular developer. Um, so, there's just add support for iOS 4. Point whatever and iOS 5.0. Oh whatever. Um, so, if you're on untethered jail, uh, tethered jailbreak for iOS 5.1 as of the moment, I don't believe this will work for you guys, but if you're on untethered jailbreak like I am for iOS 5.0.1, this should work. So, install that, and while you're here, if you want to go to sections uh, and boot logos and pick your a logo that you think might look good and download it um, just for now, that'd be smart to do. But if not, uh, you can pick one later. I'll just show you how it's set up. So we have a settings app for this. Um, I'm already in it. So when you're at the top of the settings, scroll down all the way down to boot logo. Um, and you can see I have one that's set, which is 12 right now. I also have an absinthe uh, jailbreak boot logo and a Nexus one boot logo. You also have two built-in ones, an Apple one and a chronic dev. Uh, so very nice. First off, if you they have a very nice little preview function, so you don't always have to reboot your phone in order to test it. So if we just go ahead and test this Absinthe one, it's just a pretty sweet animation, just going from the Apple to the Absinthe to like a jailbreak, a jailbreaking type screen. Comes back down, does this little loading thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's a very very nice animate, uh, very well made animation, I guess, right there. We also have a Nexus one boot right here, which is uh, apparently a port over. Um, you can't really tell, but it's a pretty... it's not the best quality, um, but I can understand. Um, I guess, I don't know, he didn't have all the original PNG files. So, if you want to make your own, also you can go ahead and preview mine if you want. My little logo. Uh, here's one other thing. Real side note, I don't know what this does to your phone, the fix and animate, but uh, I have never crashed into recovery mode on my iPhone 4S yet, um, up until after I installed this animate and the animate fix. Um, but it's only happened twice so far in about a week, so uh, I don't see it causing a real issue. Sometimes the springboard crashes, uh, but that's all I can see so far. Also, we can just preview this small preview. Of course, whenever you boot, the Apple logo will always still have to play, so if you're making an animation, you want to kind of transition from the Apple logo to whatever else would be a smart thing to do. So if you're interested in making your own little boot animation, we can go into iFile into the very last directory, and all of the animation files are located in the library, and then boot logos. Uh, you can create a new folder here, so just edit, add, and whatever name you want, so let's just go test. I'm not going to put anything in here. Um, Trist, alright, whatever, create, uh, and then click done, so you have a new directory right here, and whatever files you want to import into here, you want to make sure you name them 0, 1, 2, 3, kind of like this one, you can see 0, and you want to make sure you have the lowercase .png, uh, they can only be .png files, um, so you can see this one has a significant amount of photos, actually 48, 
just take a look at the last one like that and let's see how many the absinthe one does. Wow, it has a lot. So you can see people spend a lot of time making these for you guys, and they're all, I think almost all of them are free on the Cydia store. Um, 135 images in this one. Of course, I only have my puny little one right there. Uh, but, so if, again, you want to make your own, be mindful that all files are located in library boot logos, and then your directory name. This is how to get animate for iOS 5.0.1 and iOS 4. Point whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. I know a couple of subscribers asked for a how to unroot in a color video and a how to put ICS or honeycomb onto a Kindle Fire. Um, so I should be working on those soon, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'll get them done by the end of today and upload by Easter, which is tomorrow. By the way, uh, have a happy Easter, everyone who celebrates. Um, again, I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero. Leave a comment down below in the description. Uh, subscribe up there and share with your friends. So take care. Peace, guys.